have with us a Skoda Fabia. Now, this is not a car that you can buy brand new from the showroom right now. But the reason why we are making this video today is because I wanted to tell you why this can potentially be a very well used car. If you are in the market for a used car, well, this could be your next one. And why exactly I say that is something that I'm going to explain in this video. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now, one of the main things that one looks at while buying a used car is the price and the price of the Skoda Fabia buying one in the used car market is my number one reason for why I think this is a great used car bargain because you can find good examples of Skoda Fabias in between 2 to 3 lakh rupees depending on the condition and the variant of the car. The one of the best things that you are getting in that price is the absolutely supreme build quality that Skoda has to offer and one of the greatest things about any Skoda car really is the great driving experience which you will get in the same price tag that I am talking about but those are things that we will be talking about in the review right now let's talk about the styling Now let's take off the styling from the front end of the car and from the front end is where you can see the similarities between well the Fabia and the Skoda Rapid because both the cars look pretty similar from the front end and the main reason for that has to do with the same headlamps used in both cars. If you see in this car you have a type of a curvaceous design yet it looks very good on the car and inside you can see we have halogen bulbs for lighting the road in front of you. And if you just scoot on down below over here, you can see we have a type of a bulb in this car over here because the owner of the car has got external fog lamps installed. Now, these are not normal bulbs. These are the exact same projector headlamps that you get to see in the now coming Maruti Suzuki Bellino, which means that these fog lamps actually have the capability of high beam and low beam both, which sort of blows my mind off. But it does help a lot in terms of night driving because, well, it gives you a lot of visibility. But overall, the way the whole front end of this car looks, it is very well structured and in terms of a family car, looks great in my personal opinion. Now coming to the side profile of this car, this is where you can start seeing the simplicity of this car because the side profile is, well, very simple. You do not have any kind of flashy thing going on over here. Uh, but let's talk about this uh, styling cues one by one starting with the wheels uh, depending the, on the variant that you buy the Skoda Fabia in terms of base model gets steel wheels but in the top end variant you can get alloy wheels in this car the owner has got aftermarket alloy wheels but there but this is not the only change that this car has there are a few other things that this car has going on which we will talk about in the very end because right now we're good I'm just going to give you an overview of the Fabia not this specific car so yeah that was regarding the wheels but moving back over here you can see we have a very simple design we have blacked out uh, door handles in the car and the whole windowsill area is very normal as well but there is one place that you do get to see chrome in this car and that is the door sills over here this portion essentially has to be chrome from factory it can either be chrome or blacked out this particular car had chrome but the owner has got it blacked out which i think does go with the look of the car really really well Overall, the side profile is very simple, just like any other family hatchback on the road. Now, coming to the rear side of this car, just like the front and the side profile, it's very simple back here as well. The way the car has been designed, it fits in well and it's just a normal family car. If you see the uh, tail lamps of the car, they fit in well with the car and it's a very clean design. Obviously, on a normal car, you would see Fabia badging and stuff over there as well. The owner of this car has removed it. So the clean design in this car, that is my personal preference as well. But overall, the rear design is very simple, just like the front and the side. Even in the interior of the car, you can see it's a very normal car and uh, it's very open. The one thing that I love about this car is that it's very spacious. Nothing is very congested, especially be, even given the glove box of this car has been given an open design, which makes this car even more spacious than it really is. Uh, really, I like the whole design. It's a very normal Skoda design that you used to get in 2011. That's the whole standard design that's been given in the car. Once again, I'm repeating this one again and again, a very standard family car. And 
now coming to the engine specifications of the Fabia. Uh, opening up the engine bay in this car. Um, now this car does have a few modifications like I told you in uh, the side profile as well. Uh, but um, keeping that aside, in general, a Skoda Fabia has two engine options. One is a petrol, one is a diesel. Both are 1.2 litre engines and both are three cylinders. But the petrol, if we talk about this engine, this is a petrol engine and the 1.2 litre petrol engine that comes in the Skoda Fabia, that can produce around about 75 bhp, which is quite a good number when it comes to a family car. And then in terms of torque, it can produce around about 110 newton meters of torque. Now those were the power figures but if you talk about the mileage that is where you will be pleasantly surprised because the owner of this car to uh, tells me that he can easily get around 15 to 16 kmpl in the city and 19 on the highway and he gets around 12 when he's driving the car like spiritedly that is amazing and that's from the petrol engine if you talk about the diesel engine in terms of diesel engine first let's talk about power the power remains the same 75 bhp but Torque is where you see the difference and that is 180 Newton meters. In terms of mileage, well on the internet I can find around 15 to 16 kmpl in the diesel variant but the owner tells me he finds 15 to 16 in the petrol variant so you can expect around I think 20 on in the city with the diesel engine which is a staggering number. Really blows my mind every single time. In terms of features, this is a very standard car. Uh, in this variant of the car, you only get like AC, heater, the standard stuff like uh, this and we have uh, the driver display in which you can find all sorts of information that the driver requires, range, odometer, all that stuff which is very standard and can be found in every other car as well. This car, the owner has got a few things installed such as this uh, music system has been installed aftermarket, you have power windows in this car installed aftermarket. So a lot of things have been done aftermarket yet in the top model of the car you do get to see, see things like a radio or power windows for all four doors. But um, depending on the variant you buy, features do vary a lot. Starting with the practicality, uh, first off, above the glove box in this car, we have this storage space, which is very useful actually. You can e easily keep a lot of stuff because it's very well indented. It's not going to fly off when you're driving the car. You can easily keep some stuff over here. The glove box of this car is also very deep. You can easily keep some stuff over here. It's not very uh, wide, but it is quite lengthy. So overall space wise, I don't think you're going to have an issue over here. In the center console of the car, you can see we have a storage cubby over here where you can easily keep keys and coins. You have two cup holders over here along with this weird little small cup holder for some reason. So overall, you can keep some stuff over here without any issue. Even behind the gear lever, you can see underneath the handbrake, you have an indentation, quite a big indentation. In fact, you can easily keep some stuff over there as well. And behind the handbrake, you have one other storage cubby for keeping some stuff. And behind that, we have one cup holder for the rear seat passengers. To the other side of the steering wheel as well, you have one storage cubby over here for the driver of the car for keeping toll receipts and stuff that the driver may require. The door pockets of this car are also quite large. You can easily keep like a newspaper and magazines over here along with one bottle holder given on this side and on the other, which is very good. Talking about rear seat practicality, the only practicality you get is of the seat pockets over here and the cup holder that I already told you about. Other than that, there is no storage cubby back here, not even door pockets, which is very odd. Now coming to one of the most important parts of our practicality session which has to do with the trunk. Now opening the trunk there is only one way to open it and that is through the request sensor given back over here. But once you do open the trunk, you can very well see that the trunk in this car is very spacious. According to a hatchback, definitely. Even with this subwoofer given back over here, you still have a space for around two or three bags over here which is great. You also have a cargo shelf over here which is very sturdy and you can keep some stuff on that as well. So overall, a quite tough. And now coming to the second last reason for why I think that the Skoda Fabia is a great used car bargain and that is because this car is very comfortable. I'm sitting in the front seats right now and you do get fabric seats in the car but they are very well soft and they grip you really well. Um, 
the whole structure of the seat does like take you in place really well uh, obviously being the front seats you can obviously move the seat back and forth the backrest back and forth uh, however you like and overall it is a great experience uh, while driving the car this uh, seat position is very nice and you also get an adjustable steering wheel in this car which is four way adjustable which means it can be adjusted up and down and back and forth as well which is great and this is a feature which you do not get to see usually in other cars of this very segment so overall the Fabia really is a great comfortable car in the front seats yes in the rear seats well let's see all right, coming into the rear seats of the Skoda Fabia, I have just adjusted the front seat according to me. So if I was sitting in the front seat as well, I would be comfortable. And coming back over here, I am pretty tall. I'm six feet one. Yet still you can see I have around two to three inches of leg room over here, considering the fact that a six feet one person is sitting in front and in the rear. So that is very good in terms of headroom. I have about two or three inches of headroom as well so a very spacious car in terms of seat material it's the same fabric seats in the rear as well which means they're comfortable and they do have a little bit of grip here in the rear seats as well so even if the driver is spirited driving i will not be dangling around here and there in the car and overall this is a great package when it comes to a comfortable family car The best reason for why I think the Skoda Fabia is an amazing used car bargain is the Skoda driving experience, which you are getting in the price tag of around 2 to 3 lakh rupees, depending on the car you buy. Now, the driving experience of this car is much, much better just because of that exhaust system back there. But the overall driving experience of Skoda cars has just got to be amazing because of the way the cars handle the way the car is just built. Uh, now, in terms of visibility, if we see the A pillar, the B pillar, everything is of very decent size in the car. You do not have any kind of problem looking around here and there, being a hatchback, parking the car, maneuvering the car, very easy. So even if you want to buy your first car, maybe this car can actually be a great, great deal. So in terms of visibility, this car does really well. In terms of acceleration, I am in a downshift this second and... Like the way a family car should be, the acceleration is quite good in this car. If you want it to go for, as you know, a, a overtake on the highway, just one downshift and the car would easily do that. Uh, runs really, really well. Um, and the steering in this car is very direct and really, really good uh, handling, I would say. The steering feel actually uh, helps a lot in the handling. The steering is very, uh, I would say, firm. I would not say it's very uh, light like a Hyundai car, you know, you're moving it with one finger, but it's very direct and it feels amazing while driving. Um, another great thing about this car, especially this car because it has Brembo brakes, amazing braking power and does extremely well so if you wanted to go for a spirited drive in the car as well you know that 1.2 liter really pushes itself and the 75 bhp for a spirited drive is going to be amazing on the other hand of the spectrum if you see uh, for a family car it's very spacious like i told you looks quite good and the driving experience of a skoda can never ever be matched very very good and with that i can easily say that this could very possibly be one of the best cars you could buy in the used car market and now finally coming to the modification segment of this video in which we will be talking about this specific skoda fabia because if you are in the market for a used skoda fabia i have good news for you because this exact car is for sale so if you are interested in this car i have the contact details in the description down below to the owner of the car you can contact him if you want to know anything regarding this car right now if i talk about the modifications so first off let's get the main thing out of the way and that is this car has been wrapped it's an avery denison satin metallic light gray wrap which looks absolutely amazing and we have blue tron lines going all over it which does give this car a good highlight and i think it looks good 
so that is uh, regarding uh, that uh, then i told you about the fog lamps in the styling segment which you guys already know about but then coming to the engine bay where we have a lot of differences such as we have stainless steel headers installed in this car we also have a bmc dia cold air intake which has been removed right now but you do get it with the car we have a full straight pipe exhaust system in this car with a borla s type n can the original one that too with 2.5 inches of girth with which is absolutely amazing and this sounds really crazy as well which i will um, which i will rev the car in just a moment right now uh, then we also have brembo brake brake pads in this car along with continental wheels given on 16 inch aftermarket alloy wheels which makes this car a complete package which what is also amazing is that we have a full blown music system in this car aftermarket installed which sounds really good as well so that is what you get with this particular skoda fabia and once again if you are interested in buying this car there is the contact details of the owner are, have been given in the description of this video go check that out As far as this video goes that's all for this video guys i hope you like this video please give us a thumbs up if you did comment down below if you agree with me or not in this video share this video as much as you can and a subscribe to the channel would be absolutely amazing because it gives me so much more motivation to create more such content just like this for you guys as far as this video goes thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one